<laughs> anyway, you truck walk, you truck walk, truck walk any. Anyway, you truck walk, you truck walk, truck walk any. Anyway, you truck walk, truck walk, truck walk any. Anyway, you truck walk, truck walk, truck walk any. Anyway, you truck walk, will you walk me back to my truck? There's a moron on a thumbnail, trying to fuck you, a real dumbo, Annie. You won't believe on this podcast, there's a cockroach on the carpet. Then you run into his co-host, in his toe holds, it was your doom. Anyway, truck walk, truck walk, truck walk, Annie. Anyway, truck walk, truck walk, truck walk, Annie. Anyway, truck walk, truck walk, truck walk, Annie. Who the hell is, who the fuck is, John Africa? One take. <laughs> it's time for my favorite time of the week. When you get the ear pop, I try to speak. Really surprises today. You better act fair. Watch 10 minutes of shop. Welcome back to 10 minutes of shop. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Rate and review. Hit that smash that like button or whatever it is. Everything is on Spotify. Join the Patreon if you want. And also you know, following up on last week, if we get a thousand more subscribers, Gerardo will not, or actually, unless no. we get no, no, a thousand no, no, no. subscribers, <laughs> Gerardo will not, will be joining Louder with Crowder. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, yeah, uh, not so, uh, but Thursday, we are going to do a farewell live stream on YouTube at six o'clock Pacific Standard Time, six o'clock Los Angeles time. We're going to go live on YouTube Thursday. Around six. Around to be six, safe. Yes, yeah, yes, because yes. I will probably get here at six. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, we're going to do a live. We've never done that before. Live. Yes. Right? So you get to interact with us and watch us watch the clips, which would be very cool. Any or clips or what are we going to be watching? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Intrigue, but that's not why you're here. No. You are here to watch 10 minutes of shop. So play, start the timer now. Play the chain clip. All righty. Before we get to the first clip, I want to say that you guys should subscribe to Brendan Cooney's channel if you haven't already. And follow Thank him you. on Patreon because he's dropped a lot of money to get equipment for his own place so that he can make the show just as good as it was before me. Yes, I'm extremely redacted. Yes. I want to keep this going. I, uh, dr- I'm i not a numbers guy, but I did drop a lot. <laughs> and we're you know it's going to be fun. I don't matter. But yes, subscribe if you can. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's get to the we don't matter. Uh, this one was posted three years ago. I don't think we ever watched this one, did we? Like, I was filtering through the clips earlier. I mean, I've seen it before, but I don't know if we watched it on the show. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Harvard Comedy Professor on the Fine Arts of Stool Humping, posted by Better Chef 1127. Get on up. Get on up. No. And by the way, when you see someone moving around like that on stage, I will bet you every penny I have they're not funny. Stuff her in the corner on the couch. Fuck. That's the equivalent of a guy Thank stool God. fucker. It does not allow Shaw, Shaw to has do kind that, of an though. elitist <laughs> approach to comedy. It's quite interesting. He likes bars. He says he likes jokes. He doesn't like stool fucking. Mm. <laughs> How does this work? When he comes, his whole body just erupts. <laughs> Anytime I saw someone miming, having sex, you know, pumping air, yeah, I would just go, not funny. No. It was just like it was a sign of like. But what if there's a bit where you have to mime pumping, pumping air? <laughs> Stool fucking, if it's the right bit, can be funny. Really? But it has to be the right. It has to be a real comic with a real reason to fuck that stool. There has to be something to it. Why do you do that? It looks dumb. All right. This is just being gay. That's all. Ass in the air. That's it. There's got to be a bit pumping air. Yeah, but you mean like it has got to be screwing pumping. Some, yeah, some bits. What? But but who doesn't know what that, that looks like? Why do you need to pump? Maybe there's a reason. Unless, something. unless, like, you're imitating someone having a heart attack <laughs> pumping. I'm not that retarded! <laughs> oh, fucking stupid! And most of the move around people are pushing it. Just oversell shit by physicalizing saying. what should be just funny the way you say it. Dude, if you're ever taking any comedy device from Jeff Garland, like, look at yourself, B. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's bad. It's dark. It's dark yeah. days. Mr. Flappers himself. Yeah. Old Jeff. <laughs> a little bit of a Tweety's crossover there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> also, too, hump the stool, dude. Who gives a fuck? I mean, the, what I'm thinking about watching this clip is the person editing it. Yeah. And they put it together and they're just realizing how funny it's going to be. 
and they play they 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 finish it after laughing a lot about well while making it and they're like I think this is funny but I wonder what and they show it to their friends first and their friends are like this is going to be big <laughs> this is huge yeah don't show this to everyone yet yeah <laughs> but what are your thoughts on humping a stool um, I mean, it could be funny, I guess. This doesn't, none of this, if I'm being honest, looks like it was. No, let's be honest. It's not black and white. That's all I care about. It's yeah, yeah, not it black could, and white. There is a scenario in where it could be funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And all I got to say, dude, is find the scenario. Hump that stool, dude. There's nothing funnier than going to an open mic and watching another comedian hump the stool, dude. I Yeah, it's funny. And I mean, ironically, it's yeah. funny too. There's yeah. probably some irony humor that could be made. Dude, I have a joke where I hump the stool, dude. Yeah. You guys are making fun of me? I mean, him doing this is funnier than uh, Tig Notaro dragging the stool around. I yeah. think that's not funny. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and Name you know the who, waters, B. <laughs> Next week, who, 10 minutes of Tig Notaro. <laughs> <laughs> you know who the best uh, stool user is? Who? Cat Williams, dude. That's what I was thinking. Doesn't he have like stool bits that are funny? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. He's a, a master classman at using yeah. the stool. And maybe he does hump it too, but you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If he could do it, you could do it. Does he use a stool when he does the grocery store, like the every time I'm hustling? Yeah. He does? I yeah. can't remember if he does or not, but that's a great bit. But also, the one used of my favorite jokes of all time is when the Chrysler 300 pulls up to a Phantom. Mm. You know, you think that the you bought the Chrysler 300 because you thought it looked like the Phantom until you pull up to the motherfucker and then he spins her out. He's like, he's like I don't even want to be on the street, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good bit. Yeah. Love yeah. it. All right. Let's keep going with this uh, stool hump in here, dude. And pencil right there, shit there. I'm trying to think if Eddie fucked a stool. I imagine nobody fucking been in no that. stool, bro. See, I like Eddie. I like Richard. I like Chris yeah. Rock. Bless you. I like Chappelle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want. I like people that have something to say. All that stool fucking is just like, man. I would I never disrespect the craft like that. No, you have to disrespect it. You would just have to want to do it and then try it. Oh my God, dude. If the content is about <laughs> your physicality, right. that's not dancing. Right, right, right. Dancing's when you when you put like English, like when you when you're doing this to accentuate what yes. you're saying. Kind of reminds like, me. That. We don't need that. He reminds me of um, what's her name that was doing that. Remember when we watched the A Thousand Comedians, or there's only a thousand that can do them, and we is like there will. Um, we could be heroes is playing in the background. Yeah. What's her name? The um, Whitney Cummins. Whitney Cummins. Yeah. She basically was doing the same yeah. kind of dan crappy dance sex moves, sort of like the calling mm -hmm. card of sort of hacky shit. Yep. Yeah. That's what that looks like to me. But Joe Rogan's full of energy, dude. He's older now. He's probably not going to hunt the stool as much. Right, right, right. Joe's a great host. He's got um, some. He's got some great podcasts in the in the uh, in the chamber. But th the stand up, I don't know. Never been one of my favorite stand-up comedians. One time I saw Dave Chappelle at the Comedy Store. Yeah. And he was uh, drunk and kind of doing open mic stuff, but it was really funny. And a lot of it ended up being the stuff that was in some of the Netflix specials. But anyways, what, at one point he was like, he was bragging and he was like, who do you think is the best comedian that's ever done? Or no, he said, who's better than me? Name one person who's better at stand-up than me. And somebody was like, Joe Rogan. And looking back on that, that someone said that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, Joe Rogan. I mean, Joe Rogan could beat me up in a fight, maybe. <laughs> He's like, or Joe Rogan could beat me up in a fight. That's what he said. But yeah, no, not not mm -hmm. as strongest. Uh, but you don't have to like, I mean, you know, you know, like a great comedian when you see him, dude. Yeah. When it comes to stand up comedy, B, mm -hmm. you know, the greats. That's true. George Carlton, <laughs> Dave Chappell. Dave Sha Dre, Jay Orkison. Jay Orkison. That's good, pretty good. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Joe Rogan, he's a comic. He's yeah. the, he's a great at podcasting. Exactly. You know what I mean? He's a great podcaster. Yeah. Maybe the best. Some would say the best. But he's not. He's nowhere near one of the worst stand-up comedians. No, no, no. 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 But this is just funny. Yeah. It's showing him at his worst. Yeah. Because I and remember the first time I watched Joe Rogan live, the first time I watched Joe yeah. Rogan stand up, and I was like, this guy's amazing. Really? Yeah. But this is before I did comedy. Right, right, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, I think there's a little bit left to this clip. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not that funny, man. I need some help. <laughs> Thank you. Shout yeah. out to, man. Shout out to Brendan Schaub. Um, I really do appreciate what you do for, for comics, though. <laughs> 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 well, I think that's one we never watched on the show, so it's cool to watch there it. There you go. Yeah. Let's see. I think there's another one like that. No, or posted by Faye Conan. 
Uh, it's called Calabasas Comedy Companion. I want, I'm just curious, like, so you get an idea, and I know yeah. there's no real... <laughs> <laughs> um, <Hey. laughs> yeah, you guys talking about DeSantis 2024? <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> Bye. Biscuit sandwich? <laughs> Mexican sandwich. Hey, Chris. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Chris. Oh, all right, fine. Can we get some real no, comedians? No, no, no. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't talk. <laughs> That's crazy that he gets that drunk on the podcast. Yeah. You know? That reminds me of like this friend I used to have. They were like, oh, when he started talking like that, I'd be like, okay, he's had too much. I hope he goes to sleep soon. Yeah. A bit much. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris. Hey, hey. Hey, Chris. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right? No one knows who you're talking about. Yeah. No one knows who you are, B. And then to just loudly say something about DeSantis to your friend on the yeah. podcast that thousands of people are going to watch. Like, you didn't mean DeSantis 2024? Like, no one wants yeah. that. No one wants that, B. But you know what, though, too? When they get drunk, they don't talk about numbers and thumbnails and all these things. Yeah, it's entertaining for us to yeah. watch. We like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad for them. They look bad, though. Yeah. It does look bad, but audio's king, so you can't look at audio. Fair enough. Yeah. Right, they just sound bad. Yeah. All right. Let's go into the clips for this week. Uh, posted by Highlight Numerous. It's called Bapa Loves Pride Month. Example of him being a nice guy. I'm all about Pride Month. I, I text Brian this morning. Hey, it's Pride Month. Suck me. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, be respectful, dude. <laughs> It's yeah. their month. Yep. Do your job. I said, do you still have sugar in your mouth? You still have a little sugar in your mouth from yeah, sitting I, on the couch in slippers, sucking Twizzlers while we were bringing laughter to the masses? Geez, the, only, the only reason that doesn't work is I can't eat candy. I don't understand what Brian is saying at all. <laughs> at least I understood Shab's bad yeah. classic joke. Yeah. I told you to be gay with me, man, because it's gay month, dude. Boner <laughs> alert. <laughs> Boner alert. That Canadian would have been genius. better, dude. If you would have been like, we all know it's Pride Month. Boner alert. We right? all know. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. We all know it's, I'll do it. Well, we all know it's Pride Month. Boner alert. <laughs> you still have a little sugar in your mouth from yeah, sitting I, on the couch in slippers, sucking Twizzlers while we were bringing laughter to the masses. See, the only the reason that doesn't work is I can't eat candy. Right? Those days are gone. Oh, you don't, I don't even you know. I don't candy do and, I mean, because the old teeth are all full. Yeah, I haven't ate sugar. And so when it doesn't gonna, work. When are you going to Invisalign, bro? Never. Your two front teeth like are yours. really coming down, huh? No. It's like you, you can't to, eat candy? Yeah. What, like he because he's an adult, he's saying? Yeah, I mm -hmm. guess. I don't know. I, don't, yeah. I disagree with all of what I've seen so far. Unless he calls Addy's candy and he's trying to quit him, you know? <laughs> it does sound like baddies and Addy sounds like a kind of candy that you'd eat, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I, this, I got this band. all you the cashier's like, What do you got? Well it's water, it's baddies and Addies real quick. <laughs> you have a problem, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Also, too, it's like you got to be on this wavelength to listen to this, right? Because this mm. is kind of boring. So far, yeah. They've gone from Pride Month, suck me off, to, you know, we were doing comedy and you were eating candy on the couch. And then he's like, I can't eat candy. And so it's like a bad improv, to, well, you know. They're both going for the gay angle, I think, because Brian oh. says you're sweet or eating sweet stuff. And I think that's like, you know, how oh, people yeah. say sugar in the tank or whatever. Yeah. So, so far, it's a, ba it's a battle of wits yeah. by two comedic geniuses over who's gay. Mm -hmm. We don't know who's won yet, B. Boner alert. If I said I was gay, you'd believe me, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, let's see. No? I like yours. Hey, you look no different. I like this. Those are great. Your two front teeth are, They've you're been turning there. into an overgrown rabbit, and I said it, and I don't give a fuck. I'll take Somebody it, Somebody give him some fucking carrots. I'll take it, because you, hey, you look you exactly the same. You must Talking teeth, B? You must woof through You've carrots. got your lids done. You've got your hair done. I don't even know done. what you're talking you about. Your Who teeth? said your hair done? <laughs> <laughs> you went to the ear doctor. I got your hearing. You're your talking hear about done. men on ear waves. Okay, you couldn't hear me. <laughs> this, <Done>. dude. <laughs> You're saying I had Where's plastic surgery at? on my head? You've had plastic surgery twice. Three. Well, do you yeah. consider you consider Invisalign plastic know. surgery? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. I survived. I've had technically three procedures done. Your lids, your hair, your teeth. My when hair was a long stop? time ago and it didn't take. Hey, when he comes out of trance. When he can come out of trance. <gasps> what? That's all you can say sometimes. Oh you, I'm not a very good poster child for plastic surgery. No, it's not working. Um, What's next when are you going to come out as trans? Oh what are you supposed God. to even say? And then Brian's like, what? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, plastic surgery. Yeah. He's, they're afraid to go there, B. Wow. Yeah. Name the waters, B. 
Very bad. Who listens to this dude? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, who's watching this and being like, it man, this is great. Boggles the mind sometimes. When it gets like that, yeah. when it's d- deep into the redactedness. Dude, like, r- recall that clip without saying one or other. <laughs> <laughs> what in God's name happened in that clip? Yeah. Right? This is like a, it's, that clip is like what you'd see before they play the, the Hitler clip, you know, and then whatever is happening in the Hitler clip is that clip, you know? He's the, the sergeants oh, are describing yeah, that yeah. clip to him. Yeah. He's taking off the glasses. <laughs> I said, what about trans people? <laughs> They pretended. They both pretended to be gay, and then talked about teeth. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go to the next one. It's from the same episode, so I'm sure it's going to be a lot better, right? Uh, yeah. It's called "Rinks is out. Punt God is in for the cow bass companion this weekend." Posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. Great cow bass fight campaign this Saturday. <laughs> no Brian. Brian's a pussy. Uh, this Saturday, you'll see two eighty nines going down. You got the schmo. You got our boy Matt Ariza. You got Polly Shore and myself. Tune in that's seven p.m. live. You'll see two eighty nine cow bass fight campaign. Thick boy YouTube only. Okay, kids, love you. Enjoy the month. <laughs> just giving up at the end. Yeah. Carl Bass your fight companion. Brian's a pussy. <laughs> seven p.m. down and cow bass is there. See you then, kids. Yeah. All right. I also like how he does this with the mic. He's just like fucking shit. <laughs> He's just like cop ass fight combine. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's packing up his stuff to go to ladder to crowder. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh this one was amazing to us. Uh I oh never, yeah, the song yeah. is really bad. Yeah, this is terrible. I don't even know if it's gonna remain in the episode. Yeah, because it could get it could yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. Bent Pixels B. Mm-hmm. It's posted by Deep Waters. <laughs> <laughs> Great name, dude. <laughs> it's called Still Can't Believe Eric was ran out of comedy for making this, although he does have a better voice than Clint. Huh. Let's see. Clint is a thick boy. Uh. That boy big as fuck. Yeah. Tell me why you're so thick boy. What? Don't you work out enough? You got baby making hits boy. <laughs> <laughs> that boy awesome. Imagine listening to this in the gym and your uh your like headphones get unplugged by accident and other people hear that you're listening oh to it. Oh my god. You, like, <laughs> you hit the pause button really fast. Yeah. You don't want anyone to hear. So is, did that say that Brandon is a thick boy and like a sexy R and B voice, dude? Someone's like, Are you listening to Montez rap? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute, it gets the whole gym. <laughs> Are you? Dude, this guy's listening to Montez rap. <laughs> oh man. You got to go. You can't be here. Dude. You have to leave Crunch now. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. yeah. Yikes. <laughs> and at Planet Fitness, this plays on the, the speaker system. You can't ever get a gym membership canceled. You know, they make it very hard to cancel. But the second you play this, this is the way to get it canceled. They're like, you, you can go. We don't. Please leave. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> do we want to hear more of it? Sure. <laughs> Let's do it. And even though we give you shit, boy, shit, boy, I'm gonna walk into my it. truck. Yeah, let me tell you about the thick boy, right around the city, making big noise. Small city kid oh. in a big town, truck diaries <laughs> with the big brown. <laughs> With the cray down, rope pouch in my mouth, favorite Travis Brown knocked me out. What'd you say? Favorite shoe on the shelf. CTE can't stop my dog. Tiger thick wick scan. R.I.P. Tiger Thick. We've yeah. heard rumors. It's no more. Oh, do you want me to go to that one? Nah, we'll get it to eventually. We'll get to that one eventually. Spoiler alert, McGee over here, baby. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Boner <laughs> alert. <laughs> that needle's not touching this temple, daddy. <laughs> Fat guys are like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> this makes sense. I wasn't. All right, so this one was the best clip of the week. Uh-oh. It's uh, posted by Alfalfa McNugget. And it's uh, called Theo throwing strays at Diddler on new episode of JRE. Okay. Dicey, dicey, B. Boom. Boom, roasted. Like a 20-year-old adult or like a 30-year-old adult? It gets 
exponentially creepier, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like if, if you just graduated and you're 18 and your girlfriend is 17, that shit is completely normal, Yeah, you know? But if you're 19 and she's 17, people start to look a little sideways, huh? Mm-hmm. That extra 12 months makes a big difference. If you're 20 and she's 17, people will get very upset with you. Even in places where it's legal, where where it is legal in a few places, which is kind of weird. Yeah, and if you are thirty five and she's seventeen, you can't be a comedian anymore. No. Are you sure? I don't know. Who knows? Well, I mean, this makes me feel better. It's weird, like what's legal versus what's okay, like. Dude, that was funny, but the, when the clip where Sasso is like, I don't know what's going on with them. I think they might be in Costa Rica. <laughs> That's like one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. Or I think Chris and uh, whatever live in Costa Rica now. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I don't want that. Hell yeah. Shout out to Theo, dude. He's killing it. Let's be honest, Yeah, dude. he's doing very well. He's doing way better than... He's one of the few people where you watch him more and then you're like, oh, he's actually funnier than I thought. Yeah, like, in any more funny. Yeah. 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 Um, so, there you go. There's a compliment. <laughs> All right, so this don't act like your compliments mean anything. They don't mean. I don't matter. <laughs> we do not matter, dude. I'm, I'm such a hater, so... <laughs> uh, <There you> go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one, I don't know if this is real. I'm pretty sure this is not. This cannot be real, is it? I don't know. Let's see. It's uh, posted by Icarus Lives. It's called UFC Fighter Attempts to Watch TFAT K Podcast Challenge. This cannot be real. Right? I mean, I've never seen it. You were scrolling through. I, yeah. I guess I, Let's see. Not watching. UFC fighters are some of the fittest people on the planet, but can they survive watching the fighter and the kids podcast? <laughs> no, it's not real. <laughs> no. Today, we're going to find it's out with one of the greatest <laughs> UFC fighters of all time. Tito, how are you feeling? I'm really nervous. Uh, <laughs> yes. For everyone I fight with hard training, and for this one, I kind of haven't really prepared the right way. It's a little different. Now I'm behind a stick yeah. at a cockpit. Yeah. All right, let's roll. All right, Tito, how are you feeling? All right. This is one where he might pass out. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> you couldn't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's so okay. funny, dude. Uh, you with me? You got CT. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's hilarious. That yes, sir. No G lock. Well done. Yeah, headphones fell dude, off. Dude, well done. Well done. Well done. Respect. You went all the way. <laughs> Compliments to the chef, dude. That's, that's great stuff, right you there. You named the waters in boner alert, dude. Yes. Yeah, very good, very good. Oh, uh, that's Icarus lives. I don't know if they made that, but that was amazing. I though. would watch that clip seven times a week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come oh on. my god. Yeah, when he stepped into that cockpit, he was like, "Oops." <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh man. All right, we got another one by Icarus Lives here, dude. Okay. You know, shout out to Icarus. That was hilarious. Yeah, good job, Vicky. Oh, my God. All right, uh, this one's called Pedestrian Headphones On, posted by Icarus Lives. So many psychedelic there's almost, trips. And- <laughs> there's almost no group that is as is, is far away from normal as Canadian. I know. That's why I get along with them so well. It's so hard for me to hang out with regular folk. <laughs> you know, that's, that was rough. Like, if I had to live in a community of regular people that just work every day. What if you... <laughs> Oh. And then also, what amuses us too? What amuses us around comedians? You ever like talk to a bunch of comics for like a weekend or something, oh, and then you go to your norm core people? It's the worst. And you bring a comic <laughs> joke. It, it's, it makes you go like, I don't want to hang out with anybody that's not a comedian. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sam, <laughs> uh, do you agree? And I like look at a restaurant. <laughs> there you go. Like, I'm, I'm not angry, and I'm not thinking about killing everybody in there, but I, I'm looking around and being like, they're so useless. <laughs> they're so useless. What are they going to do if I wanted to? Oh, oh no! What? <laughs> yeah. so, like, a comic brain is so We're different in than, a, than a pedestrian yeah. brain, and like what pedestrian? You know, like I can't help. I went pedestrian to a, is so funny, by the way. Oh, like saying that. That's not one of our guys being. Yeah. Not one of our guys. They don't have like a personality. They're not. You can't beat a comic. No. no. Hanging out, having fun, laugh. There's no way. No way. You ever heard a regular person's stories? <laughs> it's true. 
Good God. Most boring shit. Yeah, and they go, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, the FBI is looking at my. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Germany once. He goes, shut up. <laughs> FBI story sounds pretty to interesting. Germany. Yeah. yeah. There's all their stories. <laughs> Someone was trying to, a spy was trying to talk to. A spy was trying to trying to talk to Jeff Dye there, <laughs> trying to pass on information, and Jeff Dye's like, "Whatever, dude, yeah, pump dude. the stool, yeah, get on open alert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you gay? Am I gay? What's going on, <laughs> fucking idiot? Yeah. The mothership is on fire right now. Why am I talking to you? That's like the no offense, to him, but that's like the common thing that the joke structure or the the joke that comedians always try, where they're like. Women's stories are like boring. You read a woman tell you a story. It's the same thing. All people that are not comedians yeah. are also boring. You ever they're like, I went to Germany during World War II and I saved a whole battalion of people. <laughs> Shut up and say I'm gay. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Hump the fucking stool. Hump the stool, okay? Yeah. Do you see what Whitney Cummings does when she's like going like this and showing her <laughs> pussy? Can you do that? Yeah. I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> right. Can you go guy. backstage and piss on the stairs? Do a comedian <laughs> yeah, thing, yeah, dude. Come on, do take your shirt off and take your dick out. <laughs> okay, we're all drunk. <laughs> Dummy. My dad's an architect. My stepdad got me gigs. He's an architect. He got me gigs in the summer, like like real jobs. Mm. And I was like, holy shit. You're a laborer on a construction site? Fuck your life. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> Every day. Fuck your life. Mm -hmm. And I would just fucking carry shit all day and be so tired. But I remember thinking, okay, you got. there's got to be a fucking plan. We got to make a plan to mm -hmm. avoid this. You can't be doing this. And uh, I have my orange chicken, which I love from there. And the hot and sour soup is the best in the world. I still love P.F. Chang's. If I cheat me on P.F. Chang's all day. He goes, um, I took a few classes at L.A. Boxing, man. And the guy was training me there. And I just thought I could help you with your job. I'm like, very cool, man. Thank you. Could you please get my orange chicken? Just get my car and get my orange chicken. Oh, fuck. That one hurts, dude. Yeah. Kind of. That one's so yeah. cringe. Awful. Well, why would you? Why yeah. would you think that? And why it's would you just say it out loud? Unnecessary. No. Yeah. Nobody's I, normal people. I've never thought anything like that. Yeah. Well. Oh well. I'm that might be my pedestrian brain coming yeah. out a little bit there. Yeah. Tell a I fucking mean, joke, dude. Yeah, I know. That guy. I, I should have. I should have put that waiter in his place. Yeah. Like Vapa would do. Yeah. No, dude. Name the waters, B. Every Don't time. talk shit about comedians. There's only a thousand of them on airwaves. Airwaves. Yeah. But. If it's a dude at P.F. Chang's trying to tell you how to punch somebody. Hell no, dude. No. Give me my orange chicken bee. Yeah. I mean, if he's a big guy, yeah. seeing him get into a car, like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, of any size. Any honestly. size. Yeah. Man. Let's see here. Can I just tell you that the worst thing that ever happened to stand-up comedy was that stand-up comedians got podcasts? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Name the waters, Luke. Luke! <laughs> Skits and bits! Skits and bits! Well, this next one has a song throughout the whole thing, so it might be cut out of the episode. But it's posted by Psych D Lurk. It's called Curb Your European Tour. <laughs> it's rare I cancel dates. I never do. Tick <laughs> Europe, UK tour. <coughs> may not be there. I'm trying to figure it out. But it starts in Belfast. Belfast, June 15th. Last cancel. Cow, June 17th. Cancel. Manchester, June 18th. Cancel. London, June 22nd. Cancel. Cardiff, June 23rd. Cancel. And I end in my favorite place I've ever done stand up Dublin, Ireland, June 25th. Cancel. One show in each freaking city buy any tickets tour, baby get your tickets right now london's almost sold out i think huh. you, you no it's not right now big boy dot was he gonna go to germany at all i don't think so no no, no. just england yeah. and ireland scotland they said no yeah half of ireland is homeless apparently dude yeah a lot of our fans seem to be in uh, belfast yeah shout out to y'all dude I kind of wish you guys had bought the tickets I to, know. so you could get some bits out of this, some but, skits and bits. Yeah, you know. We went to Brandon Chobbs. Uh, we went to his comedy show. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Took a picture with Brandon Chobbs. <laughs> Look at me and this moron. <laughs> I don't know how he fits in the frame of yeah. any size. Any size. Yeah. <laughs> One of the worst comedians I've ever seen in my life. 
I wonder though too, like what could be the unforeseen circumstances be? If there mm. were unforeseen circumstances that weren't like having no tickets sold, what were they? Maybe the, I mean, this has been said already, but the DA got recalled in Dublin. Wait, that, oh. The, right? I'm sure it's been said. That's not real though. No, no, no. There's no, no district attorney. Yeah. In, oh, you're saying real stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe something happened with Brennan's fish. That's what I was going to say. I was like, mm-hmm. I was going to say like maybe something happened internally in house. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Like aquarium issues. Yeah. Yeah, aquarium right. issues, opposite of boner alerts, maybe, you know what I mean? Something that was super <laughs> flaccid alert, you know? <laughs> his his favorite shoes are missing. Yep. He's got to find them. They were at the studio next to the whiskey bottles, mm-hmm. whiskey. <laughs> but then he went there and they weren't there, mm-hmm. right? Sink smelled like piss. He's and then the he hunt. wasn't pissing. He wasn't the one pissing that yeah. time. So now he's trying to figure it out. Yeah. It's I'm a, sure it's his team, though. It's yeah. his team's fault. Probably. Maybe the team didn't know like the European restrictions or something like that. Right. Absolutely. Or what if he doesn't even have a passport? What if he booked the shows, didn't even have a passport? That would be the greatest <clears throat> next scandal at Chang's. Yeah. He's so dumb. They didn't know he needed a passport. <laughs> well, no. Or he, or he like he lost his he passport. He yeah. know. Well, he at least knows that, but he lost his passport or it's expired. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Or he spilled food all over. <laughs> I mean, you can still use it with food, I guess. He left it at one of the food trucks. Yeah. He left There's someone who's like trying to window. figure out where, this is, I got your passport. Yeah. Are you one of the cats messing with me? <laughs> Instead of giving his number to a girl, he gave his passport to a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so redacted as possible. <clears throat> all right. So let's go to the next clip then. Um, all right. So this one's posted by OK Specialist 4929. It's called Leave Thig Become mm. an Icon. <laughs> now, my favorite type of weed was uh, cocaine. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Very good, good for you, Theo. Yeah, yeah. It makes me happy, dude. Mm-hmm. Man, we've been doing the show so long that Theo used to be a part of Brendan Schaub's whole career. Yeah, we saw a bunch. We saw him leave. We saw a new show for him, Golden Hour. Yeah, you know we've we've been part of the history, kind of. Yeah, special time for us. Special time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I look back at this time right now. It may be not so special. Like, I'll think this is special. Like, the time right now is special, dude. Right. Yeah. I mean, would you built the ground we walk on, B. Yeah. Thank you. Ridic deed. Uh All right. So, this one's posted by a Feisty Today 8290. It's called Dicey Dicey Block Uh And I think it's from a recent episode or, I don't know, two days ago. So, let's see what happens. Talking to Rogan this morning, I go, I cannot listen to another podcast of you and anyone you've had at the club, the mothership, and how fun it is. I- Wavell's Venture. <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite, Chili Owl. <laughs> I wasn't really very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rogan, uh, it's like a death by a thousand paper cuts. Oh, oh, oh. Rogan, why don't you have your friend Baba on the, the mothership? mothership? Oh, he's never even been there. Uh, yeah. I was at the mothership last night waiting in, and, and this woman was like, oh, what is the one where he's like, uh, stuck a tongue... <laughs> Bosh. Yeah. Tongue up her butt because you know it gets boring. Yeah. In line at the mothership. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be funny if Rogan was like, like, uh, signed some sort of paperwork with Austin City or whatever to be like, no food trucks anywhere within like, <laughs> 25 mile radius of the fucking mothership, dude. I'm back at the mothership. Get it? <laughs> Get it. Oh, what is it called? I will back. Get I it. I will back. Get it. Uh, all right, this next one's posted by Cruel Ambitions. It's called No Mention of the Cancelled UK Tour. He'll be chilling all summer with the kiddos. Damn, Triple E, Jeff, Dive, Brennan, be a fun time. Maybe a special guest. Uh, special time. Um, next, I'll be doing sets around LA. We have a fight command this Saturday, 7 p.m. live on Thick Boy YouTube for UFC 289. The Schmo, Callen, and... Take a long break, bud. Paulie Shore. Shore. Take a long break. Yes, I'm chilling nice. this summer with the kiddos. Nice. 
So uh, next one's the Ice House in Pasadena, July 28th. Spokane, September. Skankfest, 29th of September. Niagara Falls, November. All right, kids. Love you. We're at- it's like he's tired or something, you know? the way Every time he says a time, it's really weird. Some pimp spoken. <laughs> now it's not a time, but the city's names, too. <laughs> spoken. I'm going to be at, uh, I'm going to be a spoken. I'm going to be him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and also uh, take a break. Yeah, it's uh towards you know, the end he just doesn't care. It is what it is, dog. He just goes. Yeah, he just yeah. goes, B. Yeah. But uh do you think that there's gonna be uh like a I don't know. Do you think he's do you think when does all these comedy clubs catch on that that he sucks? It's like, he's not like good? A, a constant troll in a sense. You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean if he sells tickets, which he doesn't seem to be doing, they'll they'll have him on. I'm more worried about him being at home. Yeah. Because we've seen what when the special, you know, he's gonna Get in fights with his wife because she's spicy and yeah. she's an asshole. I mean, she's going to throw a lot of hot Cheetos, dude. They had a lot of arguments. Nina Fauci, Nina, you know how yeah. she always gets. She's like, Nina Fauci, Nina, yeah. you know, whatever. Nina something. Is ne- who knows what's next? <laughs> Who knows what's next? Yeah. Nina something else. <laughs> Nina Delta. Nina, yeah. Nina, your shirts are weird. Nina, yeah. Nina, vaccine. Nina, vaccine. Nina, Nina, your, your stand up's terrible. <laughs> whatever she does, you know. Yep. Cheeto bitch. Boner <laughs> alert. <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe she won't post too many thirst traps when he's at home. You know? Yeah, no, you saw him. You saw him. Yeah, I don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad because he's had to cancel his whole tour. But yeah, I don't well, give a fuck though, too, because he doesn't. He's not honest. You know? Yeah, I want to know why the tour is canceled. Yeah. An, an honest answer would have been entertaining to watch. Yeah. Also, would have made us, you know, feel uh, bad for him. Yeah. Maybe. Or at least have some empathy. Yeah. But now I don't have any. Yeah. Or have. Yeah, I don't have Yeah, that. if you would have been honest, it would have been a boner alert for me, dude. Yeah. But it's also a double edged sword, you gotta think. You know? Put yourself in Bapa shoes, dude. What do you do? You know what I mean? I would well, I mean, I probably wouldn't announce a European tour unless I knew I had some chance of um, selling some tickets, right? Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't even be in that position. But times that you've been audi- honest with your audience, like I piss in the sink. <laughs> There's a whole thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know? That was hilarious. And then, but he kind of tried to walk that back a little bit, didn't he? He was like, I don't know, always piss in the sink. I mean, he all, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah, he, he always piss. You know what I mean? But even then, it's just guys being dudes. So and then, like, really I had a problem with Addies. And it's like, oh, Addies, Addies, good, 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 right? They talk about openly doing Addies. Yeah. But I guess it's just we didn't know the extent from the text. Like, yeah. every other text is like, got any Addies, got any Addies, got any Addies. So he sounds like it's a drug problem, you know? It's different. Different. Yeah. yeah. All right, anyways, let's go to the next clip. It's uh, uh, posted by BroAway831. It's called Brenda is so desperate, he reached out to Luis Gomez for advice on dealing with the haters. <laughs> well, that, that's why, because, you know, Brendan Schaub, who we're having on Skankfest, he hit me up and like, hey, dude, how, how did you, like, deal with, like, all like, oh, your troll? I heard you had, like, a lot of trolls and, like, and I was like, dude, you got to just like ignore it. You got to embrace it because he, he gets like he gets, you know, yeah, killed gets, by his subreddit. Right, right. So, he, so he was like, he was like, hey, dude, he was like, he was like, what do you what do you do about this? And I was like, well, dude, first of all, I'm the leader of the people who are trolling you on your subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> I have five uh, <laughs> secret accounts that I personally troll you with. So um, I am Heisenberg. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I am your Heisenberg. No, it, I, but yeah, I think you have to. You have to almost just fucking take the hit. Yeah. You gotta, you, or, or either ignore it or laugh at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That is the, I think, the secret with trolls just in general. You know, if you either ignore it completely or fucking laugh at it. But if you start blocking or getting angry yeah, or you're being just like, throwing getting, gasoline on a fire. Going back dude. at people like fucking, it's such a, a crazy fucking Fuck way to be. That. Okay. <laughs> well, that, yeah. that's, hmm. Wow, dude. Yeah. Well, he says he ignores it. Obviously, he doesn't. He says he doesn't read the comments. He says he posts and goes. I don't think I would go to Luis Gomez for advice on this because he's just going to make fun of you like he did. Yeah. Probably the worst person to go to. Him <laughs> he's going to go on um, uh, Legion of Skanks and just get made fun of again probably in some way, right? Is that coming up? Yeah, right? It was on his schedule for September. Okay. Yeah, that's not a that's not a move I would do if I were Bapa. <laughs> it's like opening up yourself. Like, I'm afraid of trolls. I'll go hang out with the, the troll podcast. Yeah. It doesn't seem like a good move. Uh, He'll learn. We'll see. Or he won't. <laughs> we'll be we'll see yeah. in September, dude. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Are they gonna be nice to him? 
Didn't they have a whole question thing where they asked his friends if they think he's funny? Yeah. They're all like, no. They said yes, but they, they failed, but they the, failed yeah. the test. Jam, that's... Uh, dude, that's almost even worse he's than all, saying Then no. he's in on the bit then. You know, maybe that's growth. He's in yeah. on the bit. He's going to hang out with uh, the Legion of Skanks people. Maybe he's in on the bit now. Good for mm. him. Maybe that's the arc. Yeah. He leans into being the idiot. Dude, it, it, I like that. Number one thing that can happen, dude, if he does lean in, mm-hmm. Gringo Poppy 2, dude. Gringo Poppy 2 is what we're all hoping for. Yes. They that would be amazing. That's what I'm saying. It's like not it's not even 25 minutes. It's 15 minutes. It's not even on YouTube. <laughs> it's a <laughs> What else would it be on? <laughs> you can't do long It's just form. on Twitter. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, it's like a bunch of <laughs> clips on Twitter. <laughs> you guys, Gringo Poppy 2. I need the retweets. 10 minute TikTok video. The yeah. comments will be turned off for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he does, I'm sure there will be no comments. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, this one we alluded to earlier. Mm-hmm. It's called How'd the Whiskey Biz Go? Mm-hmm. Posted by Trundle Tobogan. And uh, the subtitle is Apologies for the Low Effort Dish Year, but I thought perhaps a harder working cat who can who can and actually does watch Brain Dips million different podcasts without caducing themselves could validate this tweet <laughs> I came across. And the tweet says... I just had a thought. I think Tiger Thick has failed too. He hasn't spoke about it in a couple of months. It's not on the set of the shows anymore. He used to not be able to say anything without mentioning it. It's done with, I'm telling you. I think that's a good point because we, we've we scrolled through the subreddit. I I did I did a post or two this uh, <laughs> past few weeks. Yeah. Um, and I, they're okay. You oh, know, okay. Little, little small dishes. <laughs> yeah. nothing, to, nothing to be like, you got to see what's on our specials menu or anything like that. But, um, I mean, we haven't seen, I haven't seen anything about Tiger Thick. And the last thing I saw about Tiger Thick was that the price had gone down. Oh, yeah. It was now 60. I think that's the real problem is that the price point is just way too high. And if you start too high with something like that, I assume it's just never going to work. Yeah. As a bit, it's funny. Yeah. If it was a short, if it was like a, not a lot of money, I'd buy it and drink it. It's hilarious mm-hmm. on the like just hey we're drinking Shab's liquor and they make fun of him and like isn't this stupid yeah that's ir- ironically buying it to me is a funny bit saying chairs chairs chair chairs yeah, yeah it gives you the opportunity to say chairs with people yep although we I mean I never that guy bought it for us when it was like ninety bucks dude if Brendan Shab makes his Tiger Thick Whiskey, 20 bucks. I'll relapse and keep doing the show, dude. <laughs> there you go. There you has go. a challenge, V. <laughs> yeah. Ruin Gerardo's life. <laughs> and he'll keep doing the and show. he'll keep doing the show. Oh, man. Yeah. Also, too, the last time we heard about Tiger Thick Whiskey was... There you yeah, go, dude. Yeah, I forgot, yeah. So that's the answer right there. <laughs> yeah, they used a different liquor. They lived to use Jameson. Yikes. Yeah. And they got caught, B. What are, you, what are we doing here, Bapa? I don't know, but I got a boner alert. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Okay, so this one's called The Rogue is a... F- oh, The Rog. I thought I said The Rogue earlier. <laughs> yeah, The Rog. The like Rog the wrestler. is a fan of Bapa posted by No Cauliflower 4577. Let's see. Mm. I feel like you got a long list. How no? tall is <laughs> The Rock? 6'2". <laughs> yeah, no. ele- he's 6'2". Yeah. I'm in an elevator room. Is he a big yeah. dude? Like, compared only, to you, how big you is he? though, right? You guys are like... It was just a, no. It was just two of us out of out of. Did you say fight. anything? Just what's up? Sup, the rock fan. He said what? He said he's a fan. I said I want to fucking fight you. He's okay, not. I, all of that sounds made yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just did. A, well, I just did a really funny joke. I did the Godzilla voice. I was like Godzilla, Godzilla in the elevator, Godzilla. <laughs> the rock laughed a lot. It was really great. Yeah, he laughed a lot more than you did last week, Chris. <laughs> I don't know why we fit in the elevator. You know, of any size. <laughs> of any size. Delia was kind of doing a shot bit there, so yeah. he got mad. You know, he's like, "That's my bit, dude." Yeah, he stole my bit. I talk about big guys not being able to fit in places. Yeah, that's damn, damn, dude. Name the water, and then too lazy to try is already putting the two clips together. He's <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Diddler and the <laughs> Burner Shop had a thing this week, and they got it. So I don't know what you guys think, but like, I kind of think that the podcast are getting angry at each other, and here's why. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> and here's the clip. I watched the Too Lazy to Try video earlier today. Really? Yeah. It's really easy to just keep screaming the over and over again. It's yeah. like you, these people you've never even heard of. Yeah. Craziest Joe Rogan guest ever. <laughs> so this guy went on Joe Rogan and he said that trans people have superpowers and he sounded like a real moron. So Joe doesn't want him on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's good. the clip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, all right, this next one's posted by Jazz Cosmo. It's called Modern Day Philosophers B. They spelled philosophers wrong, dude. <laughs> I love you, Jeff. Brother, I love you way more than you'll ever love me, and you know that I told you that last night. <laughs> That's a ridiculous thing to say to a person. <laughs> you changed my life immeasurably. You immeasurably. changed my life. Shop. <laughs> we really did. I all- said that I'm, I just get too much credit. It's uh, all of us. It's like we did it all together. We all did it together. Without good friends, n- nobody <laughs> really succeeds. <'cause> you- <laughs> this is what the problem is, alcohol. You shouldn't bring alcohol into this. Yeah. Because when you're hanging out with your good friends and you're doing this podcast and you get really drunk, this kind of stuff may happen. Yeah. And it's going to be over-the-top cringe for most people watching it. <laughs> Unless they're super fans and they feel like they're best friends and they're like, oh, our friend, we're all... And they get like these weird people watching and teary-eyed with their liquor <laughs> watching and stuff. But for everyone else, we're like, God, these guys need to rein it in a bit. Yeah, aside from you saying that you're a fan of Burt Kreischer, <laughs> the number one hated episode was the drinking episode where you guys are drinking alcohol. Oh, really? Yeah, I remember. Oh, that's right. People are hating on that <laughs> yeah. ASW. And then you said you like Burt Kreischer and they're like, oh, Dude, the, the Burt the Bert hate is so funny because yeah. one guy... I forget. I think his name was like D Trick or something like that. He wrote something on it like "I hate Bert" or like "Bert Chrysler sucks." That's like all he wrote. Seventy likes on YouTube. <laughs> it's like the most like comment on the on the video. <laughs> I was laughing at that. Like, damn, they he is hated. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the noise he does. <laughs> I can't do it. That is hated. Yeah. I, I I understand that noise being annoying. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just funny in man. any size. And then yeah, and any video and any clip, chin. <laughs> All right, <we'll> get- <laughs> All right, let's finish this one off. Don't you don't appreciate it if it's just you. If it's just you. It's not, it's, it doesn't seem fair. It seems all fucked up. I, 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 I keep saying to people, you got to surround yourselves with the motherfuckers. Like yes. you, you got you. If you're talking about your what? friends as if you're the top dog, then you're with the wrong dudes. Someone right. said to me, "You're always talking like you're not a great comic. That your friends are so much better." I go, "They are. Look who my fucking friends are. Are you fucking kidding me? Like my friends, <laughs> I surround. I'm I surround myself like by people that are way better than me, and then I just listen. I don't. I lot, not listen a lot, but <laughs> we all to our listeners. That's to- anyone in the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You could be in a Starbucks and you're already doing that to the people who watch our show. <laughs> Everyone there is better than you in their minds. <laughs> B. There's five seconds left. Right, Gather. It's a, the old expression that the rising tide raises all boat. <laughs> boats. This boat is sinking, B. <laughs> Thank him. Oh, dude, that's hilarious. To say modern day philosophers and that's the clip, dude. That's a good bet. Yeah. Great bit. Thank them. All right. Uh, let's go to this one. It's called uh, Bisbing and Smith Discuss Brendan Schaub. It looks like uh, Anthony Smith with Bisbing. It's posted by Ice Jones 999. Because that expression, when Teddy Atlas said that, it's been quoted a lot by a lot of people. Yeah. Do you know, and when you said it there, because I saw Brendan Schaub claiming it as his own line. <laughs> I see, you know, I see like, credit people where I hear it from. When Brendan's awesome, I'm not talking crap. But I swear, he's like, I always used to say, you get 30% better. You get 30% better. I've always said this. I, I like, I like, like Brendan, that. but that's funny. No, me too. He's not funny. He gets shit off everyone. He, he does. Done. He does catch it, a lot of I shit. I feel for the guy. I feel for <laughs> the And he guy. gets a lot of shit for his comedy special. You know, he got a lot of... I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> Bring your copy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't see think it. it was His that bad at all. I, mean, I, I, I laughed at it. Yeah, no, no. I, I saw a few clips on uh, Instagram and stuff. There's a, few, there's a few jokes in there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's jokes. That's, that's, it's a comedy special. Yeah. Good. The man's a success. He's living his life. He's doing he well. Is. He People is. just like to talk shit. I don't know what it is. He does a they, lot of they, pretty good things like behind the scenes too. Like I think he's yeah. donated some money and covered the bill for some real important things. And, mm. and mm. He, he does some... <laughs> some Philanthropy, for whatever that word. <laughs> <laughs> philanthropy. Oh god. Okay, a little bit left. A little bit left. <laughs> it's for donating philanthropy. money. Philanthropic yeah. endeavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, he yeah, does. Yeah. Whatever god, that word god, is. God bless him. Yeah, good God bless him. him. Um, Charles <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> He's like, anyways. 
Yeah, this is how Shab's friends talk about him. This is how, you know, oh, you know, the special, it had jokes in it. <laughs> if they watch him play a basketball game. He he had the ball at one point. Yeah, yeah. He shoot, he, he, made, he had a shot. Yeah. He shot it. He passed it at some point. Yeah. Watch him play softball. Yeah, he was like, he drank some beers during, <laughs> in the, in the dugout. Yeah. He was drinking during the softball game. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrassing. Recording a podcast. Yeah, he was pissing in the sink. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the pocket. Yeah, there was a cockroach um, in the studio. There's a few. There's a few cockroaches yeah. there. You know, like those tweets. It's like POV. You're Brendan Chop's producer, and it's like <laughs> Brendan Chop just started a group chat. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was texting about a SEAL Team thing about Addies and Baddies. He was. He's the, I mean, he. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He, you know, he, yeah, he fell asleep yeah. during the pot. He had like reached ice cubes at one point. Yeah, if you wanted to hurt me, you got me, brother. Yeah, yeah. 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 I still consider you a friend. <laughs> I still consider. You. Yeah, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, all right, that was great. Good bit. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I saw the special too. It was good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, there was definitely some stuff about Dallas in there for sure. Yeah, fat people were like, "What the fuck?" You know? Yeah, yeah. When he called his mom about whether she was going to get donuts, she was like, I wasn't, Yeah, but, you know, I love donuts. I mean, chili, yeah, right? Yeah, you know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah dog. Uh, this one's called Brendan, Brenda nails it when asked what year season 10, uh, the one he was on, of the f- ultimate fighter occurred. And then in parentheses, 2009. I think it occurred in 2009. <laughs> uh, but let's see what he says in this clip. This is posted by All I Do Is Lie To You. I'm curious if this... <laughs> If we're going to get an announcement of the you know more Ultimate Fighters on ESPN, not ESPN Plus and you know Fight Pass, but actually ESPN, I'm wondering what, how ESPN feels about it. What what year would have would season ten have been? What year was that? She didn't <laughs> even know what she started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why why is she uh, doing this to Shab? She knows he's not a numbers guy. Yeah. B. That she's homeless. Yeah. Certified homeless. No, this is unintentional homeless. Unintentional sure. homeless certification. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the ring girl with a Hawani. Oh, but who is this? Is this a ring girl? I have no clue who that oh, is. Oh, yeah. Um, but but I know like you're talking that. about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where she didn't mean to be homeless, but dude, this is the most homeless activity. I think she meant to be homeless, dude. Not her, but oh, the other okay. one. Because she had that smile. She was like, uh, Hawani's like, do you watch Brennan Shaw? She's like, I don't know. Do do you watch him? Or and he says like, are you? Fu- is he funny? She's like, I don't know. Do you think he's funny? Kind of like she knows. So that's not certified homeless though. Dude. Okay, you so know? maybe not certified. Because homeless she, cats, she, dude, they don't give a fuck. No, no, no. They, they name the water. Yeah, yeah, they name the water. Sure, for sure. Shane, hi Shane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see the rest of this one. Oh, uh, that would have been 2018. No, yeah, because no, I no, think no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Earlier than I that, have I was CT. Um, yeah, that's literally five. <laughs> I years shouldn't ago. laugh. I, no, you should. It's fine. It's not a joke. I actually. definitely <laughs> have it. No, um, that would have been 2013. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. I think ten part years of it ago. Damn, like- he's way off. We should have guessed what how many years he'd be off. <laughs> It'd be funny if the camera panned out and Randy Feltface was there with her. <laughs> you get him. <laughs> oh, that would be so great. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what Randy's up to. World Tour still. Feltopia is still going on. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. It's it's funny. I mean, I may be redacted and getting it wrong, but when I looked it up, it said Feltopia, and it came out in 2022, but it was 2023. So I think it was maybe the end of 2022 to 2023, because there's still dates in like June and July and all that stuff. Oh, okay. And he's coming back here, I think, going to Irvine at some point. Ooh. I think so. I'm like pretty soon, I think. Boner alert. Boner alert. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this one's posted by Dick Butt. I mean, you know, Tiger Thick or Tiger uh, <laughs> Tiger Belly employee right there. There you go. Uh, it's called Kings of CTE. No. Um, <laughs> and ju- just transition to. <laughs> That's so awesome, dude. That's so good. That's so good. Uh, they grab each other's They don't hands. even know where to put their hands anymore. They've yeah. been hitting the head so many times. That was a nice little appetizer dish, dude. Yeah. You know what? Like, you know what? Uh, in an interview with two people with CT, it's, it's going to keep you busy. You know where to put your hands? Yeah. Keep you busy. If you work at PF Chang's, you're going to be busy. You're going to be busy. Yeah. Uh, all right. So this is the last one. It's posted by Icarus Libs. It's called Street Fighter 2 Chang's Edition Chingery. <laughs> great name. Yeah. And great, never read it. Yeah. Great game. Never played it. Let's see. Chin. B-Shop. Round one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
This is, this is really stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You lose. <laughs> you lose. Uh, do you have that? Send that clip to Chin. Clint, do you have that chip? <laughs> Clint, do you have that chip? A few weeks later. How's the neck? A uh, freaking Mark's boy, Griffin, that you guys know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's been like doing chiropractic work for free for me. He's like stretching my neck. Did it help giving you ex- exercise? I feel like it's helping, yeah. 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 You look better. Thanks, man. Well, that's cool. Yeah. But, but I'm going to reach out to the actual the car. I need to find Korean barbecue in Portland because I'm there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. Friday, Saturday. No electric. He's like, um, you know, the uh, he's like Joe Pesci's character in Goodfellas with the, the guy he shoots. Yeah. And then, uh, you know. How are you doing? <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, look, and then he makes fun of him again. Straight out of that. Yeah, dude. All right. Well, that's all we have for this week. Join us for the live show Thursday around 6 p.m. Yes. Like and subscribe on the video. See you next week and Thursday. Adios. <laughs> Adios. <laughs>